Hi, this is Bill Scher from liberaloasis.com. What happens at a precinct caucus? Well, we talk about the presidential primaries, but in fact, we have both presidential primaries and presidential caucuses. Uh, and it's up to each individual state and the party in that state which system they want to use to choose um, the presidential nominee, the preference for presidential nominee of the people in that state. Uh, a caucus is generally a more uh, time intensive process than a presidential primary, which is like a regular election. You go into a, a voting booth, you cast your ballot and you leave. The presidential caucus is more like a meeting. Uh, and it, since it takes a longer period of time and it tends to involve other matters that are relevant to the party, it tends to uh, have, in one sense, a smaller, uh, smaller participation but also tends to ensure that it's the folks who are most involved in that political party making the decision which person is going to be representative of that party in the general election. The other advantage of a caucus system to a primary system is that the state's political party pays for the caucus as opposed to a primary which is paid by all states taxpayers. So it's a lower cost way to uh, decide which party, which person represent that party. And parties tend to like it because it helps them build party membership. Um, so if you were wondering why people choose that system over a more largely participated presidential primary, that's generally the reason why.